we can just recognize our beneficial nature simply by resting, by allowing everything to be as it is, by allowing ourselves to be exactly as we are, perfect as we are, in each moment, in each brilliant moment. Allowing all the thoughts, the emotions, the sensations and the experiences to just be, without any describing. And feeling that energy, feeling it deeply, feeling that potency. When we don't describe, what is there? There's just such vibrance, vibrancy and liveliness, just this benefit this beneficial energy and desire to, to serve one another and, and be of benefit, it's, it's, it's innate. And when we drop all the stories, we really recognize our, our naturally beneficial awesomeness in every moment. That simple power to know that we're here that natural intelligence, open intelligence, always on. We know no need to seek for it or try and find it anywhere. Just rest. Even that heartbeat that's pounding, open intelligence. Even if that chair feels uncomfortable, open intelligence. <laughs> just that power to know. It's just that simple. But we need these, these, um, these warm invitations and reminders to rest as our, as our natural selves, just to see that we're perfect, just as we are. And a short moment can simply be to write out some text, to listen to a download, to write to your trainer, or even think of your trainer. I think of my trainer, and I'm like, oh. All is well. <laughs> I'm completely taken care of and I can, I can just be myself. Just my perfect self. As your perfect selves. I mean, that's really amazing to see that we can just be who we are naturally. Nothing to contrive. We don't need to be anybody else. We can't be anybody else, even if we try to be anybody else. We have our own set of data. That's just the natural flow of our own beneficial potency. They are our gems and our precious opportunities to recognize open intelligence, inseparable from what's coming up. Just like the color blue and sky com are completely inseparable. Or like the sun and its rays, completely inseparable. So when we take that short moment or use the four mainstays and rest there, it is such a gift to ourselves and, and, and everybody else here and, and everywhere worldwide. We just don't even realize the impact that a short moment has. It's really not to be underestimated. Because I've seen in my own life, by me taking responsibility, and allowing my data to be exactly as it is, even the jealousy and the envy and, and um, the anger or it can be anything, the irritation or wanting to be right or even feeling um, belittled or not good enough. But just taking that responsibility of allowing it to be exactly as it is, and, and feeling it deeply for everyone, I see that um, all my relationships have completely bloomed. So easeful. There's just this complete harmony within myself in all relationships. It, it doesn't matter what the other person may be feeling, but there's this complete harmony within myself and, and openness open-heartedness. 
And each short moment contributes to that. It really does contribute to world peace. You know, when I was listening to that talk and, and I heard Candace speak of world peace, I mean, such a passion of mine and all of us, you know, to really um, recognize our peace, peaceful nature. And how can we bring this about in, in the world? Well, it's through each short moment that we take. That's how we bring it into the world. Because in each short moment, we recognize our own peaceful nature, our complete mental and emotional stability, our complete ease, and this total humanness and, and connection with everyone, no matter what we're feeling. That datum right there connects us with everyone that's feeling that same thing in the very moment. Such humanness, such naturalness, such heart connection. Every single person on earth just wants this um, peace and, and well-being. We just want to live together in complete harmony. We want to serve one another and we want to be of benefit. So it is so powerful to start with us, and we can only start with us, by allowing each and every datum to be as it is and to naturally self-release, like a rainbow in its sky, in the sky, so vivid, full of colors, that there's nothing to hold on to. It simply self-releases back into, into sky, into space. And that's the same with every datum. It just naturally dissolves back into open intelligence, back into our natural perfection. So that envy is really just this desire to be of benefit. I saw within myself, when I really allow that envy or, je or jealousy to be as it is, um, and to see that there's nothing wrong with feeling that. We don't have to put ourselves down for feeling jealous because we've been told before that, oh, no, 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 don't be jealous, don't be green, don't be the green monster <laughs> or the red monster if you're feeling angry. You know, we simply relax and we allow that display to be exactly as it is because it is just this burning desire to be of benefit to ourself and to, and to everyone else naturally without trying to work it out. So feel it fully and see that open intelligence goes nowhere. It's your powerful opportunity to recognize that potency within yourself, within ourselves in each moment. You know, we just want to do our best, and that's why that jealousy or envy comes up. We really want to do our best. So rest there, because you are your best already in every moment. And through the support of the four mainstays, you know, coming to, to open meetings and joining clarity calls, I mean, they're amazing <laughs> to be with a community from all over the world. You just plug in and wow you're immersed in this beautiful heart family it doesn't matter where you are and and seeing that we we all we're all human we all experience everything at one point or another in our lives and so we're completely supported to just be ourselves and to take that responsibility and to no longer feel that we're a vic victim to what comes up to really take that stand and recognize our birthright as open intelligence. You know, our, our example is so powerful. When we go out into the world and we just display this complete stability, this open-heartedness, this clarity, complete discernment. I mean, how powerful is that to every person that we meet? We no longer see ourselves as victims. 
we no longer see anybody else as victims. We just see powerhouses <laughs> wanting to be of benefit, wanting to serve, wanting to share strengths, gifts, and talents so that we can really support one another in the most beneficial way, provide the best facilities, and just completely innovate, going beyond all limits, breaking through that glass ceiling, just recognizing how powerful we are as, as, as humans, so powerful. And we really do create that change and that, and that innovation in every moment by allowing ourselves to be exactly as we are. So when Candace says that we, that we go nowhere, because we're always here in every moment, wherever we are, we're here. <laughs> we're just here. We feel ourselves completely, no matter where we are. So it really doesn't matter the display, whether we're in a train or on a plane or in Sweden or Goa. We're exactly where we are in the very moment, just right there. And perfectly so. We only have that moment, this moment, right now. So precious and, and so potent and so beautiful. And it's just one moment at a time. Yeah. And the community, I mean, they're just a godsend. <laughs> you know, just... Um, the training, our trainer, and the community, along with short moments. In fact, the, everything just uh, reminds us to rest deeply in our power of great benefit. <laughs>